Good day beautiful people, welcome to my channel Plants for Living by Miss Natsuki. I'm Miss Natsuki and on this channel we discuss veganism, plant-based living and everything in between or the South African perspective. If you are new and joining me for the first time and clicking on my videos for the first time, welcome. Thank you for choosing me today. Um, please connect with me on all social media platforms like Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. I'm still learning more about TikTok but TikTok and yeah and if you are a returning subscriber i would like to say hey thank you again for your continued support and um also guys please like comment and subscribe engage with this video share it with other people it's going to be quite informative so basically in this video we will be talking about irish sea moss or sea moss i'm pretty sure if you've ever lingered on health instagram or like actually any type of like health conscious movement especially health conscious slash black conscious slash um dr sebi if you've ever like like gone into the rabbit hole of dr sebi um i'm pretty sure you've heard of something called cmos or someone referred to something called cmos or irish cmos so i'm gonna talk about it today i've used it and i still continue to use it so i forget i would like you know talk about it like give you some information about this super food what's well, food because you can eat it so super food so what is cmos or irish cmos cmos is scientifically known as chondrus cypress or chondrus cypress or I don't know how to say the word and it is a type of algae or sea or seaweed it grows in waters along the rocky atlantic coast primarily between north america and europe it is an edible sea plant similar to other seaweed algae and other familiar leafy sea vegetables like kelp dolls and it grows in red green yellow black or brown um and then here's the kicker i'm pretty sure you've heard this if you've ever heard about seaweed it has 92 trace minerals out of the 102 minerals the body needs so it's one of those things that just has a lot it's very nutrient dense and that's why it's one of those like really cool superfoods that people love to recommend the benefits of sea moss so sea moss has iodine which promotes a healthy thyroid I don't know how to say this word, but it's macalogenous or macalogenous. It's a jelly consistency, and due to its jelly consistency, it actually helps soothe your digestive tract. Also, there are the nutrients within um, iris CMOS promotes good digestion. The properties of CMOS also um, help improve or increase your metabolism so it can help you lose weight can or at least help you maintain a healthy weight it improves libido but when i was researching about um the libido properties um you have to it's best to pair it up with something so if you are a male if your genetic makeup is like of a is of male you would most preferably use cmos and goat feed pair those two together and then if you are female you would pair um sea moss and maca powder to help regulate your hormones so sea moss also contains antiviral and antimicrobial properties which in turn helps with your immune system it helps like support your immune system so sea moss also supports hair skin and nail growth and health so um one thing i can say is that i wish i could show you my nails because but i can't because i have acrylics on but cmos actually helped grow my nails i used to have very damaged nail beds because i used to bite my nails during my younger years and then um i stopped biting my nails during the trick um and then because I, I started doing acrylics so and then i still had very poor nail beds kind of weak and constantly peeling and then and i also struggled to grow my nails after that and then one thing i started doing when i started eating cmos like consuming cmos my nails started to grow and my nail beds started to become so neat and i'm pretty sure people are like but Nazi, why would you put acrylics if you have nice nail beds because i like acrylics but also with my skin i can personally say that it does help with the skin my skin was very reactive or had a reaction after taking antibiotics i had like this really dry rash i wish i must find this i had a really dry rash like going from like here and 
all the way here actually if i wasn't wearing makeup i should show you like there's like a bit of like dry patchy skin like my skin was just irritated and peeling and i did not know what to do i didn't want to put anything that would further irritate my skin i thought it was my skincare routine even though i've been relying on the skincare routine and then i just decided to like put sea moss because i know that people do put sea moss when they have breakouts again if you follow like holistic social media like i do you would find people do do this and um yeah it works <laughs> i believe it works um i might i feel like i've experience a skin improvement and my skin is i'm not gonna say it's gonna it's gonna be super clear but it feels healthy like it feels like it's not too dry and it it's like feels soft even though i do have a little bit of pimplage and textured skin i do have quite textured skin something that i don't think i would ever change but um my skin is way better right now like if I were to shoot this video two weeks ago, <laughs> it was not gonna be pretty. Okay, so let's hit on to the nutritional content of sea moss. So it is recommended that you take two to four ta tablespoons of sea moss daily, um, sea moss gel daily. I'm not sure how it works if you take a powder, but if you ever get prepared powder, you most probably think the instructions would say but if you do the gel like i do the two to four tablespoons because of its high iodine content sea moss contains a lot of vitamins and minerals including iron folate riboflavin zinc magnesium manganese calcium sodium vitamin k vitamin e b6 vitamin a fiber niacin and so much more remember there's also tons of others but they are in trace amounts meaning that it's there but it's not a lot but it's there but it's not a lot but it's there how do you take and how do you ingest sea moss the most common way for you to buy sea moss or get sea moss is in its dehydrated state which is kind of like um flakes i guess like sea moss yeah it's like flaky it's dry it's crumbly but you would have dehydrated sea moss you can also get it in gel and capsules so i take it the simple way i take it is i get it in a dehydrated state and i make it a gel and once i put it make it as a gel i either take it straight like two tablespoons you know it tastes like nothing if you're curious of how it tastes it tastes like absolutely nothing it tastes like jellied nothing it's in the beginning i think it will make you cringe because it's like what am i eating it doesn't even taste like food but at the same time you're like mm, it's whatever you'll get over it but in its gel state if you're taking it in its gel state you can also put it in a smoothie again it doesn't have strong flavors of anything it doesn't taste like it tastes like ocean no that's wrong it doesn't taste like ocean water ocean water tastes like ocean water um it tastes like it tastes like nothing it tastes like nothing that was chilling by the ocean so if you take it in a gel form which is a very common way to take it and a very easy way to prepare it um you can put it in your, in your oats in your smoothies in your teas in your coffees and it won't mess with the flavor too much it might i feel like i've tasted it in ginger tea when i put it in my ginger tea but it's not that strong so i think you can also get them in capsules but then this is easier if you buy it from a specific company that makes the capsules which might be more expensive you can also buy the gel itself but buying the gel runs this risk of it going bad like quicker than you can consume it so that's a little mm -hmm. you can also get it in a powder form um from whatever company i'll list a few companies that sell in south africa down below and i'll touch on them a little bit later in this video how do we prepare sea moss okay so we're gonna start by rehydrating we need to start by rehydrating whether it's a cup with its two cups there is a recipe on my instagram which is like yeah about one cup which makes about a jar but yes on my instagram on plantable.living.za there is a um, a post maybe there will be a video no the video is yeah there is a post 
um, about CMOS and basically the recipes for it. You need to rehydrate it for about 2 to 24 hours. Now, the reason we say 2 to 24 is because you can just leave it to chill and rehydrate. Um, two hours could work i've never done it for two hours i read a lot people would be like oh they rehydrated for like about an hour and then they move on but i would suggest two to 24 hours i have left it by mistake i have left it for about 48 hours because i literally forgot that i was making cmos and i got preoccupied but um nothing bad happened like the cmos was still good remember it's gonna just be in water it's literally cmos in water so it's not gonna go bad nothing bad happens to it so you're gonna rehydrate to two to four hours two to 24 hours and then next you have to once you're done rehydrating it and you're satisfied rinse it with water try to remove all the like salt and particles that you might find you might also find discolored pieces feel free to remove those as well because you might not know it, it might not be sea moss because normally the color consist is really consistent it's not like multicolored. i've never had a multicolored um multicolored sea moss so okay so this next step you don't have to do it if you have a very strong high power blender but i don't so i learned that it's actually best to put it into some um put it into a pot and then put a bit of water in it and then let it simmer for a bit and simmer for about like 10 minutes max and then once it has simmered and uh, you remove it from the heat let it cool down and then blend it and you can just add more water mind you remember that the more water you put the more the less solid it would be it would be more slushy more of a runny jelly rather than a like a really thick gel i prefer having mine in a really thick gel because it's just easier to scoop out so then you just have to remove it from the blender and put it in an airtight container i would suggest an old jar or an old like like airtight solid container a scuff tin or like tupperware is not the best i would suggest glass or metal containers for this it lasts about two to three weeks in the fridge it has to stay in the fridge where can you find cmos um uh you i find my cmos at my local health shop it's normally an independent shop health shop health store um that sells cmos you can check wellness warehouse but i doubt they do have i've never seen it there unless i haven't seen it at my wellness warehouse and maybe other wellness warehouses around south africa do store or do have um stock of cmos but um yes you normally can find it can not definitely you most probably can find it in an independent health shop that is more standalone than a franchise um i could never find it at discam or clicks or wellness warehouse all those places i never actually found cmos so um another place online that you can get and i believe they deliver all, all over south africa is essentially naturalcoza mellow cmos Dot com meal lifestyle that's your dot city and vital soul that's your dot city oh and if you are on instagram and you're curious about it on instagram i would suggest looking at eat to heal she i believe it's she um hope i'm using her correct per hope i'm using the correct pronouns but she sells um cmos and she is a distributor in south africa so support a small local business yes Yes. so beautiful people thank you for joining me in today i hope you learned a little bit more about cmos if you, there are any if there is if there are any questions or any information that you're curious about or you would like to share please feel free to comment them down below comment down below or go on to plentiful living plentiful.living.za on instagram or on facebook I don't know if you can do that on TikTok. You could do it on TikTok, sure. Why not? But you can shoot me a DM asking a question and I would love to find the information and share that information with everybody. Um, and yeah, like, anyway, thank you for choosing me today. Please like, comment and subscribe. Um, hit the notification button because there is more to come. I hope you have a plentiful day.